This is a Van de Graaff that we were playing with in the garage. Basically just uses an old juicer motor, a uh, rubber band for the belt, which is not shown because it broke, candle holder for the top roller, a couple bowls for the toroid, and uh, the bottom roller we just used uh, Teflon with uh, electrical tape to keep the belt in place. I wouldn't do it through your body. <laughs> I don't think it's got enough amps to do anything, but yeah, it's definitely easier to see in the I think it's losing shit the Well that's metal, so it's part that's acting as part of the dome now. If I understand it, maybe it's inefficient. Just gotta give it a little bit of There it goes. Yeah, let it charge up. <laughs> oh, let it. Well, the charge is dependent on the spear that's on top, the dome. If we had a bigger dome, we could probably get a bigger charge. I do have a bigger dome, I'm trying to look it up. Oh, that was a nice one. Because the dome is just basically re replaces a capacitor. The larger it is, the more charge it'll store. We're still getting about the same. Huh. Ah. It's not terrible. We increase the size of the dome, thinking perhaps it'll build up some more capacitance. That doesn't seem to be the case, unless we're not giving it enough time. Well, but one way or another, the distance would determine the time. And I can't get any farther than like here. See? Yeah. Fair enough. I mean, I'm just sitting here waiting, but if I get any closer, it works. It gets about an inch. That's about 10,000 volts then, I believe. Very low amps, but 10,000 volts nonetheless. Somewhere. Did you hear that? What?